path tutorial okay I'll be showing how to plot a simple physics graph in YEG now if you look at a table of value is a table of value and we already have a title of the graph we are plotting a graph of M in grams versus X inverse we're already choosing the scale already so I'm saying for the X axis which is here the down part the horizontal axis I'm saying two centimeters to represent 20 units for the Y axis which is um, the vertical axis I'm saying the same thing so I'll be, I'll be um, labeling all my parts correctly now and I will start with the X axis and I will say for the X axis I will say um, 20 40 60 80 100 for the Y axis which is for the M in grams remember this is uh, this is X inverse in centimeters and we are plotting the standard form if you look at the table we have the standard form we have converted the x inverse to standard form so we are plotting the standard form so when we put times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 okay so now for the um, vertical axis uh, i'm using the same scale so i'm saying two centimeters the distance between this point and this point two centimeters so i will say 20 i will say 40 60 80, 100, 120, the last one we're going to see 140. And this axis is M in grams, M in gram axis. So now it's time for us to start plotting our points. Okay, so we have when M is 40, right? X inverse is 27. So this is your 40 on the uh, M axis. So I'm going to trace 27. Each of these tiny lines here in, on both axes is 2. So I'm going to trace my 27. So at 40, this is 22. This is 24, 26. So I'm going to drop it at 26 because we can't get 27 here. So I'm going to drop it at 26. So this is where my points will be. Okay. So the next one now, at 60, it is at 40. At 60, it's at 40. When M is 60, X is 40. So x inverse is 40 so this is where i'm going to have my point here the next one 80 at 80 x inverse is 53 so this is your 60 this is your fifth this is your 60 each of these tiny lines so so we have your 50 here 50 should be here at 80 so 53 so your 53 should be somewhere here correct 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 so next one now when we have at 100 on the m axis which is here we have um, your your x inverse to be 67 so 67 this is your 60 so 67 should be somewhere here so this is your 62 64 66 67 should be somewhere here okay so the next one when your m is 120 and your x is 80 so this is, this is your 80 80 is here okay we are done plotting our points so the next step now is for us to draw our line of best fit so we're going to draw a line of best fit now so i'll be drawing you're going to draw your line so that majority of your points will be cut through the line so we have something that looks like this something that looks like this okay so we now have our line of best fit so the next thing for us to do is for us to calculate our slope calculate our slope to look for our slope so i'm going to do that now i'm going to do that now drop this here i'm going to drop the next one your slope should be at least one third of your graph one third of your graph don't make your slope too small and don't make your slope too big you should cover at least one third of your graph now that you're done with that it's time for us to calculate our slope remember our slope is going to be changed in m which is in grams versus divided by change in what in x inverse remember it's in cm okay so we're going to trace this is 100 and this is 100 and m2 102 we're going to have 102 minus minus 30 minus 30 divided by divided by 70 divided by 70 minus minus 20 remember 
to put your standard form on the downside. Remember to put your standard form if you're using standard form. Okay, so this is going to give us what well, is going to give us 72. It's going to give us 72 divided by is going to give us going to give us 50 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3. Okay, so it's time is now for us to actually divide that and solve for our slope. So you're going to have 72 divided by 50 exponential minus 3. And that is going to give us 1440. It's going to have 1440. This becomes a slope. Thank you very much.